Hi guys, Mike here from Mikey Reviews. In this video, I'll be reviewing The Last of Us Remastered Multiplayer. As most are aware, the main campaign of this game has been rated extremely highly amongst gaming websites as well as other gamers. It has an extremely deep and rich storyline which bonds you to every character you meet. The graphics is amazing, the background music is beautifully composed, and the gameplay from the mechanics to the characters' interactions truly makes this game a must to play. But it doesn't just end there. There's also an online multiplayer mode which is very underrated. Dragle, right fact, there. For me, this has and still is one of the most enjoyable multiplayer games I've ever played. When you first start up on the multiplayer, you get to choose which faction you want to play as, either the Hunters or the Fireflies. To be honest, it doesn't actually make a difference to which one you choose, all it does is change your character's skin and theme colours. And if you're not playing on a sub account, you can connect to your Facebook account where it will import all your friends' names onto the metagame. The whole point of the metagame system is to survive until the end of the 12 weeks. Each online game counts as one day and depending on how well you do, you'll either be gaining extra clan members or losing them. There are also extra challenges along the way where you'll have to complete a task within three game days or face losing most if not all clan members. Some of them, you'll actually gain some. You get the choice to choose which challenge you want to take, such as getting three shift kills, but just as a warning, the more you choose the same challenge, the higher the target gets. This will increasingly make it a lot harder, so what I would recommend doing is basically choosing the harder tasks for the ones that involve gaining clan members and the easy tasks for the ones that you'll lose clan members. The amount of clan members you have by the end of the 12 weeks will determine your overall score. The better score or amount of supplies you get along the way, the more weapons, perks, costumes, gestures and emblems you unlock. Once the metagame resets after completing the full 12 weeks or if you lose all your clan members, you will keep your rank and everything you've unlocked. When starting off, you don't really have a lot of choice when it comes to customising your loadout. However, there are some really good presets to choose from. So try them all out and see which suits your playstyle the best. Then as you unlock more stuff, you can really customise to your own style of play. Multiplayer is an 8 player game with 4 players on each team. And there are 3 different game modes to choose from. Supply Raid is probably the best mode to start off on. It's a basic team deathmatch where you'll have 20 lives to share throughout your whole team. Then we have Survivors. This is a more hardcore version of Team Deathmatch as every player only has one life each per round. Whichever team has the most round wins will win the overall game. Then we have Interrogation, probably my most favourite mode. You have an unlimited amount of lives, however you'll still need to be very careful because if you get downed, you could get interrogated by the enemy. After so many successful interrogations, the enemy lockbox will appear where you'll have to then open it. Whichever team opens their enemy's lockbox first, wins the game. When playing an online game, there are a few rules you should go by. Rule number one, play as a team. Unless you're extremely good at the game and you know how to play very stealthily, the odds of survival can be very slim. But even then, not only are you unable to support your team when they're in need, if you get downed, there is no one to save you either. This is why it's always a good idea to stay together. Besides, you get a good bonus points for reviving teammates. Rule 2. Be aware of how you move around. When you're completely still, you're undetectable to both the enemy's radar and this mode. If you crouch walk, you're invisible to the enemy's radar, but you can be picked up if they happen to be in their listen mode. And if you walk or run, well you're basically giving your position away to the enemy. This also goes for when you're firing loud weapons. Personally, if I get into a game where my teammates are running around frantically, I would rather break rule number one and just go solo. Rule three, be aware of your surroundings. It's best not to rush into things, Use your listen mode and take advantage of the camera being in third person view to look around corners. Just because you can't hear an enemy doesn't mean they're not there. Rule 4. Know when to finish your enemy. When you down an enemy, you have three options. You can leave them to bleed out, 
This can either be a good or bad thing because if they manage to crawl behind some cover and a teammate is near, they could get revived. Or sometimes you'll find that their careless teammates will go out into the open to attempt to revive them, which gives you an extra easy target to shoot at. Secondly, you can shoot them from afar. This option will allow you to get some extra points without being an easy target. And finally, you can get the most of the points by going up and executing them close and personally. Remember, when a teammate is downed, all the other teammates can see that they are downed. So, when you go up to them and decide to execute them, you're basically standing on a light beacon. So just be aware of the situation you're in and don't go rushing into things. During gameplay on any mode, you should notice a variety of white dots on the map. These are supply boxes which have random supplies inside which could range from materials to make things such as bombs, shivs and molotovs, or health packs, ammo and credits. It ranges from a little to a lot and you never know what you're really going to be getting. Once you've opened them, the dot will disappear from the map and will reappear over time when they're ready to be opened again. Getting supplies, making things, reviving teammates and killing enemies will get you more points to spend within the current game. You can use these to upgrade your weapon tiers, buy ammo, armor or weapons. Choose wisely as different things will help you greatly depending on the situation you're in. Some may struggle at first to get into the multiplayer, however once you get used to it and you understand how the game plays, you'll realize just how immense it really is. Each game you play feels completely different and it's easy to get immersed into the gameplay, especially as it makes you feel on edge with its intense atmosphere. The Last of Us truly is one of those remarkable games which has a full package, which is why I would highly recommend this game and especially the multiplayer. Give it a shot.